To make this, you will need a good lot of Toblerone. I have eight triangles from a 200 gram packet of Toblerone. You'll need one heaped literal soup spoon of cocoa powder. You'll need one measuring cup of thick yogurt. I've chosen Greek yogurt, it's ideal for this. You'll need a fair bit of milk so you can fill the jug of the blender. They are the main things you need. I'm going to put the triangles of the Toblerone into a coffee mug so you can see how much Toblerone chocolate that is. So if you're using a bigger bar of Toblerone, you want it to be able to fill the coffee mug up that much. That's how much you need. Now, the first thing I'm going to put in is my one measuring cup of yogurt. This will create a buffer down the bottom so the chocolate doesn't get as caught up around the blades. Now, I'm putting in the Toblerone. And on top of all that, I'm putting in the cocoa powder. Now, if you wanted, you could add a drop of peppermint essential oil into here. I am now going to fill the blender jug up to the one litre mark. That's the ideal mark. I'm just putting my finger here so I can see that I'm getting to the one litre mark. Right, I'm going to stir the loose cocoa from floating on top of the milk. Now to blend. I'll put my lid on and here we go. I just had to listen to the chunky bits of chocolate get smoothened out in there because you can hear them getting hit by the blades. And once that sound lessens, you know it's almost good to go. Now I shall give this Toblerone milkshake a taste. Oh my, I did forget something, didn't I? Sugar. So I am adding a level literal soup spoon of raw sugar. Now I shall try again. Well, that's delicious. You'll also find there'll be some small chunks of Toblerone at the bottom of your blender and also at the bottom of your cup or glass. So I would advise getting a spoon so you can eat the chunks of chocolate and shaking out from the bottom of the blender. Thank you very much for watching.